In honor of independence, Nigerians are encouraged to play their part in the nation's development by supporting one another. This call to action was made by Agumeze Saint Chukwemeka, the convener of the Saint Agumeze Empowerment Foundation, during a visit to the country's correctional facilities where he provided assistance to the inmates. Agumeze emphasized that demonstrating compassion towards the inmates instills hope within them. The first of October signifies independence, you understand, which means freedom. But in, we all know what a prison or a correctional centre is actually meant for. It's not, it's not, it's not an independent here. So being the independence of Nigeria, not everybody is actually truly free. And the real truth is that we actually have more bad people outside than actually inside here. So this people people see people in the and the inmates as people that are forgotten, people that um, are menaced to society. But I just I just want to bring this um, spirit of hope, love unity and just to let them know that they're not actually alone because we all go through different stuff in life and nobody would actually want to be left abandoned so it's just it's always a journey of love yearly that every first of october that represents freedom we always come down here to show love to the inmates he also conveyed optimism for the future of the nation and similarly his associate ayomide adetoro the convener of for G for jesus must be seen uh, reinforced his message we just hope Nigeria gets better because the real truth is things are actually getting very difficult. Uh, the economy is getting quite hard, and just imagine what people are going, like people here, what they're actually going through. So what they, most of these facilities, because we've actually touched that on Kiri Kiri, the juvenile prison, and other correctional facilities like that, and we know um, how they are being kept. You understand? Not because of the bodies want to do better, but there's not actually adequate budget and uh, money being pumped into this area. So if Nigeria is this difficult at this point, imagine what they are going through. The main purpose for my coming here today is um, to partner with Saints. Today is his birthday and we also want to bring the good news to the people in the prison because Jesus is also in prison too. Right. You know, so they need to see and they need to know that the fact that they are here does not mean they are in bondage. I mean, a life without Jesus is actually the life with bondage. We are growing. God is helping us and we we'll keep praying for our country. But then prayer is not everything there is to do. Alright, so we need to our leaders need to do better, all right? So I, I believe by God's grace, when they do better and we do our best, you know, the country will be good. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.